Rachel are in love. Sue's going easy on Will, and even though the Glee Club worked really hard to get to regionals, they didn't win. Vocal address! But it's okay to not win an award, particularly when you had so much fun getting there, right? Right? It didn't even place. Emma had a crush on Will, but Will was married. Then Will had a crush on Emma, so he got a divorce and he kissed her, but now she's dating some dude named Carl. He's my dentist. It's a total bummer. Tina told Artie to take a hike. You're a terrible boyfriend. And she got the hots for Mike Chang, and now Artie's obsessed with getting her back. I want abs. So much drama. Artie made the football team, which is crazy. And Finn's not the quarterback anymore. This new kid Sam is. Can you believe it? Kurt's dad and Finn's mom are dating and are really happy together, which makes Finn and Kurt sort of like brothers. They sure yell at each other like brothers. Why is it so hard for you to understand? Sue has a sister, Jean, who she doesn't yell at at all. I will always love you. Which sort of makes her the only person Sue doesn't yell at. Tina dumped Artie for Mike Chang. There's this new kid, Sam, who's got a great voice, and Finn heard him sing in the shower. And we'd like to talk to you about Glee Club. Finn thought Kurt was trying to look at him in the shower, so he called him a name, which totally got him chewed out by Kurt's dad. Maybe everyone should just start taking baths. Puck tried to steal an ATM and got himself stuck in juvie. As far as badasses go, I'm number one. Sam and Quinn are sort of a couple, and so are Mike and Tina. Artie and Brittany went out, but then he sort of dumped her, and now he sort of wants her back. Kurt's pretty lonely all by himself, and so is Coach Beast. Sue keeps trying to get her to quit. She even baked her a batch of cookies. Are those dog poop cookies? And Will's wife put the Terry in terrible relationships, so now she's his ex-wife. What is wrong with you? Kurt met this kid, Blaine, who he really likes, and he seems really nice, but he sings at the Glee Club at another school. They're called the Warblers. The Warblers are like rock stars. Kurt isn't liking his own school at all because Karofsky's been coming after him, and nobody knows why. You can't punch the gay out of me any more than I can punch the ignoramus out of well, you. Kurt knows why, but he hasn't told anyone. Kurt's still getting harassed and doesn't know what to do about it. I'm gonna kill you. Finn and Kurt got mad at each other because Kurt had a crush on Finn, and then Finn called him a nasty name, but it also wasn't cool that Kurt couldn't take a hint. And their parents are dating, so it's a little awkward. Sam and Quinn are sort of dating, and Sue sort of dated Rod Remington. You sunk my battleship, Rod, and you sunk it hard. But then she caught him cheating, so she's back on the market. Kurt's trying to get used to another school, and Will's trying to get used to the fact that Emma went to Vegas with her boyfriend and came home married. I'm happy for you. Brittany thinks Artie's the best boyfriend ever. You're magic, Brittany. Which is what Rachel used to think about Finn, but then she learned the secret about him and Santana, which made her super mad. Do you think she's prettier than me? Don't answer that. So she made out with Puck, which made Finn super mad. I'm done with you! Because his girlfriends are always making out with Puck. Boyfriend troubles. I got that covered. Considering I'm usually the cause of them, I'd say I'm an expert. It's like a thing. Sue tried to shoot Brittany out the cannon, but it wasn't safe, so Britt and Santana and Quinn quit the Cheerios. Sucks for you. Now we get to see what they look like in street clothes. Finn broke up with Rachel because she made out with Puck, but then Quinn kissed Finn after the big game, even though she's been dating Sam. Yikes. It used to be a love triangle, and now it's like a Pentagon. And Puck's got a thing for Lauren Zeises, but she's not really down with it. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Finn kissed Quinn, who's supposed to be dating Sam, and Rachel kissed Finn too, but he didn't feel the fireworks. The cheek? Can you believe that? Sue tried to shoot Brittany out of a cannon to win nationals, but the only thing she won was Katie Couric's Loser of the Year. I hate you, Diane Sawyer. Quinn was dating Sam, but then she kissed Finn, so Santana told Sam, and now they've started yeah, dating. Be delicious. Will's not dating anyone and says he's over Emma, but it seems like he's still got a thing for her, even though she's married. Kurt's really into Blaine, and Blaine likes Kurt, but he says he just wants to stay friends. Will's dating the hot substitute, Holly Holiday. She's totally sassy and you can really see why he's into her. Sexy. Quinn and Finn are back together in a big way and so is the Glee Club. They did original songs and now they're headed to New York. Get out! But Sue thinks Will made her lose at Nationals and she's sort of gone over the edge, even for her, and that's saying something. The Glee Club's getting ready for Nationals and Quinn's getting ready to be prom queen. We need to get elected for prom king and queen. It's the ultimate status symbol. Kurt had to leave McKinley because Karofsky threatened him. You can't expel a kid for shoving. He'll just say, I didn't mean to shove that kid. I tripped. Excuse works like a charm. I use it all the time. But at least he's got Blaine and the Warblers, who just lost at regionals to the New Directions. We got each other out of all this. That beats a lousy trophy, don't you think? Santana's got it bad for Brittany. This relationship is really confusing for me. Breakfast is confusing for you. Well, sometimes it's sweet and sometimes it's salty. Like, what if I have eggs for dinner? Then what is it? And Will sort of always had it bad for Emma, but lately she's gotten super crazy with the cleaning fruit and stuff. I'm not following. Like, seriously crazy. One day, you're gonna find a way to beat this thing. Kurt Hummel's back at McKinley! Kurt's back at McKinley, but he's still dating Blaine. Sam used to date Quinn, but she's back with Finn, who used to date Rachel, who's still sort of in love with him. Finn, that is. Santana's in love with Brittany, but she's too scared to say it out loud. You told me you were in love with me. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. And Britt's back with Artie anyways. Kids these days. I have a question. Sue's bent on destroying the Glee Club before Nationals. Destroy the Glee Club! She even formed an evil league with nicknames. The League Legion. of Doom. I don't think I was listening when he said what our name was. Is it League or Legion? Worst henchman ever. Prom's coming up, and Quinn's desperate to win Queen so she can hold on to Finn, who's still sort of his 
prize for Rachel, but Zeisys also wants to be queen and pucks up for king, and Karofsky and Santana want to win too because they both got a secret they'd like to keep. Have you ever heard of the term beards? Artie and Brittany were BF and GF, but he got mad and said she was stupid, and now they're not BF and GF. You were the only person at this school that never called me that. Can you believe that? Nationals is in New York City, and everyone's really excited. Jesse St. James is back in town, and he's starting a show choir consulting business. Two things that I'm great at, show choir and destroying the competition. The New Direction should hire him. A, they really want to win, and B, he's super handsome. Terry's back too, and Sue wants the Honey Badger to take out the Glee Club before they can get to New York. And that's what you missed.